Let's see who are champions. Champions are people who have vision. Number one is vision. Others are people who have eyesight. No, they want to own a tool, turn it out, and I they don't have a vision of where they want to go. They just have eyesight. Number two, champions have content. They have content. They will advise you. They will tell you that I prepare my idols. The others are just containers. Do you have content? Or do you are just a container? Number three, champions, you know, make a team. You as a, a youth of this church, you make a team. How do we develop the youth? How do we uh, grow spiritually? How, how, how do we, you know, grow? But while others are just in a gathering. It's just a gathering. It's not a team. It's just a gathering of people. Number four, champions are reliable. Reliable people. You know, I will, I will, I will assign Joel a job, and I will know. I don't even need to think about it. Atafanya. He's, he's reliable. The others are just available. One or two. They are just available. What is this idea to serve chai? What is it to do? Champions communicate. No, when you feel someone has aggrieved you, raise up your heart and say, I want to say something. They communicate. The others make noise. And I'm here to now call. They're making noise. Champions are productive. Productivity. The others just have an activity. Hmm? Or two. Champions are committed to the vision, to the goal, to the things that we have talked about. The others just have a committee. There are so many things in this country that have been changed by only one committed person. While others who ask us to be president at a form committee, you have to investigate, do you need a committee, takes all the money. Don't be a committee, just be a committed person to your goal, to your vision, to what you want to achieve. Champions have unity. While the others just wear a uniform. Ah, too, uniform, do you want 